The Vain Crow. Once upon a time, there lived a flock of crows in a mango grove. Today, there was much excitement, and Mr. Caw was going on a vacation and bidding goodbye to his friends. Here's my special mango pie for you, Caw. Gee, thanks, Mrs. Conning. And take this pile of twigs and pine resin. You never know where you will have to build a nest. Thank you, Cottle. I am going to miss you. Miss all of you. And finally, gathering all the gifts his friends gave him, Mr. Caw flew off. Mr. Caw flew over mountains and rivers, and across villages and cities, seeing the world for the first time. One day, he heard thunder and lightning, and it looked like it was about to rain. He quickly took shelter on a tree. I think I will have to stay here tonight. Not a very good idea to fly in the rain. As Mr. Caw was settling on the tree, he heard a strange sound. He quickly peeped over the branches to see where the sound was coming from. It's about to rain! Hurrah! What are these creatures? He is flying. Are they birds? But they are so, so, so beautiful. Mr. Caw the crow had seen peacocks for the first time, and he couldn't believe how beautiful they were. He compared his own black feathers with their bright, big, colorful ones. He suddenly did not like being a crow anymore. Look at me, all black and ugly. I want to be like them. So beautiful and pretty. So Mr. Caw watched the peacocks day and night. He could think of nothing other than becoming a peacock. But how? He started eating berries like them, dancing like them, and one day he got an idea. The beautiful peacock feather. From that day, Mr. Caw started collecting fallen peacock feathers. And when he had collected enough, he took the pine resin Mr. Caw Tall had given him and stuck those feathers to his tail. Ah, now I have become a peacock, finally. Caw! Time to go back home. Yoo-hoo! So thinking he was now a peacock, Mr. Caw flew back home. Mrs. Conning saw Mr. Caw and called all the other crows, and soon they gathered on Mr. Caw's nest. Welcome back, Mr. Caw. How was your vacation? We crows really missed you. The vacation was good. Thank you. But now I am no longer an ugly crow. I have become a beautiful peacock. But you are a crow too. How can you call crows ugly? I brought you my mango pie. Thank you. But as I am a peacock, I shall only eat berries. The crows did not like Mr. Caw's behavior. They decided to leave him alone. But still, Mr. Caw did not learn his lesson. One day, he came to a decision. Oh, the ugly crows! Why should I stay with them? My rightful place is with the peacocks. So Mr. Caw went to live with the peacocks. Since I am now a peacock, I thought I could stay with you. The peacocks consulted each other and let this strange peacock stay. But one day it began to rain, and Mr. Caw's peacock feathers fell off. Ooh, you are not a peacock. Of course I am a peacock. I eat like you. I stay with you. I even have bright, colorful feathers like you. Feathers like us? You are a crow. No, I no 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 no. 
Your jet black feathers make you look so handsome. What? The peacocks admired the crow's beautiful black feathers. The crow could not believe it. Your feathers are so beautiful, and what's more, they let you fly high in the sky. Because of our long feathers, we can only fly so low. We wish we could touch the sky like you. But you, you left your beautiful family and friends of crows and came here to only to become a peacock? How shameful! Go home, be happy for who you are. Finally, Mr. Caw realized his foolishness and went back home. Uh, hello, Mrs. Calling? I know you're angry at me, and I deserve it. I tried to be who I am not, and in the process, I lost my own family and friends too. Please forgive me. <laughs> you want some of my mango pie? Of course, please. I am so tired of eating only berries all the time. I am sorry, everyone. I am a crow, and no matter how many feathers I put a crow, I shall remain. Welcome back! By dressing up like someone, copying someone's eating and living style, we don't become them. The best thing to do is to be happy with who we are, because no matter who we are, we are special and better off than others in our own way. <laughs> <laughs>